are vaccinations really necessary? I, I think that vaccines are still necessary for three reasons. The first reason that vaccines are necessary is that for common diseases, like, for example, chickenpox, a choice not to get a vaccine is a choice to get the disease. In most cases, it's a mild disease. Uh, in some cases, it's not. And it's in that, um, in this setting, in the emergency department, that we might see uh, patients who have more severe cases of chickenpox. My husband and I didn't really uh, know Sunday. We just knew that Jonathan didn't feel well. You know, he could maybe walk about three or four steps, and then he'd just double over in pain, going, Mama, my belly hurts. I just can't walk anymore. These are all children who very quickly went from being well to ill um, with complications from chickenpox, complications of pneumonia, of serious skin infections, of ataxia and imbalance uh, from an inflammation of the brain, uh, from a serious sepsis syndrome uh, where they require intensive care unit. The doctors had said what happened to John was he was basically invaded. His body was invaded. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why he couldn't walk was because his colon was lined with the chicken pox. Um, at the hospital, when they put a breathing tube down him, blood was coming out and they couldn't figure out why. One doctor said basically Jonathan bled to death because nothing would, you know, nothing would stop the bleeding. This is a mild disease in general, but for a small group of children, uh, it can be a devastating disease. I went in and seen him after he was, after he had died, and I just told him to save me a seat, you know. I don't get to kiss him goodnight. I don't get to give him a hug. Children are supposed to bury their parents. It's not supposed to be the other way around. When I see parents come into the emergency department with these complications in this era, when, there can, when there's a vaccine of, uh, available, um, it is, it's sad in some ways, and it also makes me think that we missed the boat as pediatricians. Before the chickenpox vaccine was first available in 1995, chickenpox killed 50 American children and hospitalized over 7,000 every year. The second reason that vaccines are necessary is that some diseases kind of smolder below the surface, like measles or mumps or German measles or haemophilus. And if we choose to lower immunization rates, even by just a little, we run the risk that there will be, again, outbreaks of those diseases in our country. And, and we need look only back about 10 years ago, when between 1989 and 1991, when we had immunization rates against measles of about 70 percent, we had sweeping outbreaks of measles across this country. Philadelphia was not one of the first cities to have a major measles epidemic. Los Angeles, Chicago, and other major cities had it a year before, so we knew it was coming. Uh, we were actually advising parents before measles had, had entered Philadelphia that it was coming and that children, especially preschool children, needed to be immunized. The message went totally unheeded. Totally. Measles doesn't just hit the skin, it basically hits every organ system. So there's vomiting, diarrhea, and dehydration as well. And then the complications um, of the measles, the ear infections, the pneumonia, the seizures. Every day we were getting 30, 40, 50 cases of measles called into us. Um, and every case required that we investigate to confirm the diagnosis, to identify susceptible people around the case, and to work to try and get them protected. I got a call at 2 o'clock in the morning from the medical examiner telling me that a child died from measles. Um, and then at 5 o'clock in the morning, I got a second call telling me a child died from measles. And I said, well, I, I actually got that call three hours ago. And the medical examiner told me, no, this is a second child who died. It was like. Why is this happening? How could a developed country that has the facilities, has the expertise, has the money to prevent these deaths, how could this possibly be happening here in Philadelphia? When the measles epidemic waned in the spring of 1991, we were able to document over 1,550 cases of measles in the city, and there were nine children who died from measles. 
The third reason that vaccines are necessary is that for diseases like polio or diphtheria, which have been either completely or virtually eliminated from this country, they haven't been eliminated from the rest of the world. Before going to India, uh, I was under the impression that polio had, was basically no longer a problem in the world. After getting off the plane in Delhi and taking a taxi cab into the hotel, polio was apparent on the streets. We could see uh, what are known in, in India as crawlers, people with polio having no wheelchairs, no crutches, pulling themselves along the ground and begging. So parents in India are very eager to get their kids vaccinated. By contrast, uh, parents in the United States have forgotten that polio is a problem. I mean, let's face it, the world's just not that big anymore. International travel is common, and when, when people travel, the germs that infect them travel with them. Recently, there was a little girl who came into Canada who was infected with polio. She was infected with polio because she'd recently been in a place where polio infections were occurring. Now, she was very contagious to those people in Canada, but the people in Canada didn't get infected because they were vaccinated with the polio vaccine. But if they hadn't been, the potential for an outbreak of polio was there.